welcome back to my channel it has been a couple weeks since I have been able to film a video I'm currently not at home due to some just some house and all kinds of personal stuff so I finally got a bigger memory for my camera so I am now able to film the videos that I want to film instead of having to, you know, do time lapse or make sure they're not that long. So, but right now I just want to show you a few things that I have made. And the first one is this, um, right here it's this loaded envelope and it is um valentine's day theme and i thought it was so cute so i'll take everything out and show you and i'm going to be sending this to a um another youtuber here i won't um mention her name because she might watch it so i'll let her be surprised so i made this little tag right here and then, you know she could just write whatever she wants on that side. I put in this little, um, I don't know if it was a Project Life card that I cut down, I'm not sure. Made another little tag. And then I gave her one of these um, clothes pins and then a mini clothes pin, which I love. These are just little decorative stuff. Now this was the first time uh, I actually made a wand like this with the straw the paper straw so I was very excited to make it I have made some rosettes in the past but I have not made a wand or whatever they're calling them I think that's what they're calling them I don't know then I made this little um, book I love this Valentine's paper I got most of the paper here is from um, the Target dollar spot so uh, I just made a little book that she can write down her thoughts or draw little doodles, whatever she'd like to do. And then I also included a Valentine's Day handmade card. And I just did a little lace in there and she can do her image or her writing in there. So there's that card. And also there's a few more things. Another Project Life card. And... Yeah, that is it. Just another little um, embellishment. So I hope she likes this. And if she wanted to, this envelope can be closed and she can use it to send the card. Or she can make her own. I didn't make a matching envelope. I might go ahead and do one. I'm not sure yet. But I just wanted to get all the stuff in that I had right now. So that was one project that I made. If anybody wants me to do a like process video on how I made this whole thing, um, please let me know. I would be really happy to do that. I haven't had the time to record anything. Well, it's not that I didn't have the time. I just didn't have my equipment or my crafts or really anything to record. So I recently was able to go back to my house and get some stuff. So this is the card for her. So I'm just going to tuck that in because I don't want you guys to see her name. And I forgot this little piece goes in here also. I never know where to put these. If you guys have any ideas, I mean, I just kind of stick them in there randomly, but I really liked how this Valentine's Day um, loaded pocket letter came out. The back is plain, but um, I kind of like it like that. I don't really decorate the back as much as I do the front, but I have this little hashtag and I thought it was so cute, so I just did like hashtag love. <laughs> So that's one that's going out. And then here is another loaded envelope that I did do, which I really love this one. So here it is. 
is. Hopefully you guys can see it. So let's take this one apart. So again, these are just some pipe cleaners and these are some little embellishments that I got from Target Dollar Spot. They came in like a pack of like, I don't know, 12 maybe. Then I made this little wand. I did end up cutting this straw just a little bit because it kind of went out too far. But I didn't do like the rosette style thing because I wanted to try something different. Plus I had this paper and I didn't want it to go to waste. But it wasn't wide or long enough to make a rosette. So I just did that and I covered the back. Then I found this cute little straw with a little tag on there. Little page flag. I thought that was cute. So I added that in there. And then this also from the dollar target dollar spot and it came in a pack of I think 12 different um well 12 of the same one and I did include a bunch of um project life cards so this one says flirt dream big hey you this is just a a, a photo mat that I just made I'm probably gonna either punch it for her happy planner so she can stick that in the week of um, Valentine's Day. If she's doing anything, I'm not sure. Another Project Life card. This one says, don't be afraid to fail, be afraid not to try. That's really inspiring. I like this one, it's on, so cute. I love all these Project Life cards. I um, I know a lot of people use them in their um, planners as um, journaling cards on the back. Or they even use them like for their bookmark placement or something like that. So I included quite a few of those. And then I included these two scrapbooking papers by this 6x6 um, six six pad that I had. Which is, I love these papers. They're so cute. And I kind of wanted to add a darker color because I wanted to tie in the black with this. So I'm not sure what she could do with it, but she has a very good imagination. So I'm sure whatever she makes will come out beautiful. So I just try to scatter these in here. No certain way, just try to put them in. I think I dropped one. Okay, sorry if you guys are bouncing around. It, my setup is not a hundred percent the way it was. So I just put these back in here. So yeah, again, if you want to see how I made these loaded envelopes, please just leave me a message, comment on this video, and I'll be happy to make that for you guys. And then on the back of this one, I just added a Project Life card. I did make the envelope um, double-sided so it wasn't super plain on the back. So yeah, I did do that one. And then these embellishments are from the Dollar Tree or the Target Dollar Spot. I made this little rosette um, and I stuck it here instead of making it there. I wanted to change it up a bit. So there's that one. And I also wanted to share with you um, something that I did buy. I was very excited to receive this. We are Memory Keepers. Uh, Crocodile Punch. I'm so excited for it. I have been using it and it punches through everything like it says it does. I mean, um, I have the Happy Planner Punch, but it, it literally punches one sheet of very thin paper and that's about it. So I made some um, planner dividers from a the paper from the um, Planner Society kit and I wasn't able to punch them with my Happy Planner punch because the papers were too thick so I was so frustrated and I had been looking 
on videos on how other people use this to punch it so I just said let me try it and I just use the bigger side and it punches it and all you have to do is cut the slits and it works perfect and it's effortlessly when you just punch it you don't have to put any force into it I love this punch so one other thing that I have been getting into let me see I don't want you guys to have too much of it that I've been getting into is um, the Planner Society December kit has inspired me to get into doing the Traveler's Notebooks. I know. I am a happy planner, but this is from the December Planner Society kit. I wasn't able to do an unboxing, unfortunately. Um, but I'll show you everything I have left. I don't have any more paper, unfortunately, left. But, um, I have most of the other stuff. So, this, you got, um, some die cuts, which are really cute. I have used some, not all of them. I can show you the ones I have left, though, just to get an idea. So, this vintage chair is, like, one of their, um, biggest themes, I guess. The, they sent a paper clip, and it was a chair, but unfortunately mine broke. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. So, here's a little pen, some scissors, a stapler. I'm guessing this is, like, a TV start today. I don't know. It's, some of them are a little weird, but telephone, a bigger pen, some cute little glasses, hope you guys can see these good, I don't know, some, uh, a typewriter, it says notes, a little faux, um, paper clip, and of course, the, um, signature girl that they do in all of their kits, so I really... I really love their um, die cuts that they send every month, which is really exciting. So you get that, and then of course you get the tabs, which are all the same, I'm not going to open them. And then this month you get um, two stencil sheets, which I will show you them. So the first stencil sheet, I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's just little page flags in different sizes, a bunch of circles, a bunch of different size hearts, and then three different size bows. And then here, they're just banners and page flags and a bunch of different sizes. So if you stencil, you will definitely love those. I gave them a try and I do like them very much. Then you also get the sticky notes and it looks like a planner this time. And I love their... Um, floral print that they did this this time around I'm not sure yeah I think this one is this stamp set is from the December kit I had this one but this is from November so this one you get like a little clipboard and all of these little things fit perfectly in here to stamp so that's a plus you get this washi tape which is really, really pretty. I love it. I'm like savoring it because I don't want it to run out. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't have any extra uh, washi or papers you can buy, which sucks. They should, but oh well. So here are the stickers that you get with the monthly kit. I don't have the Planner Society sticker kit. This is just the ones you get with the regular kit. So these are these ones. I've used just a couple of these. The little girls, of course, and then the vintage chair. And you get a sheet of different sayings. Oh, here's another embellishment that must have went in that one instead. Some little page flags, different um, floor arrangements and stuff like that. Then here you get two different typewriters, 
you get four different planners, some plain computer screens that looks like scissors, stuff like that. So I really love the stickers that they sent. Ooh, I hit you guys. Sorry for the shakiness again. So let's see. So besides that, you also get these um, inspirational cards. I only have two left, but um, they're just the standard cards. I know in November they were like, um, they were the tags. So the little tags. So this is their, the January, uh, December version. It's not a tag, it's just the little, um, Oh, plus you get this cute pencil pouch. I forgot about this, which it is hard to zip. And I I don't like that it's it's hard to zip. Like, I don't know. I think they could make a better quality pencil pouch for the price you're paying. Um, especially because I have gotten pencil pouches, like, from the Dollar Tree that zip better than these ones. I keep having a problem with all their zippers, even from the last one. I mean, I don't want to talk ill on it, but it's just, this bu bugs me a lot. It's just, I don't know, I don't like how it doesn't zip. But I do love the bag, so, very cute. So... Besides all that that you got in there, of course you get the paper, which I have used. So I made this little cover for my, now I'm going to be doing um, traveler's notebooks. And I made this pocket from a sheet of the paper. And then um, you also get, let me unbound these. So you also get in the kit this um, little notebook, which is just plain paper. As you can see, I have already written in it and done some stuff in it. And it's just sewn down, which is very easy. So if you know how to sew, you can definitely, um, next time you get your kits, cut it down to size and just make your own. Um, I really enjoy these and I want to start using them in a traveler's notebook. So I decided to make my own little booklet. So here's this booklet that I made, the inside, the back, but I just, you know, made it with blank paper. And it came out really cute. And instead, since right now I'm not at home, I don't have my sewing machine. So the best I can do, I put an elastic as the binding. So it's just slipped in right in and it stays together very nicely. For now, anyway. This is just for now. I mean, until I can get back home and craft the way I really need to craft. So I made another one for doodles. And then I also made it a pocket. And then now I'm here, it's just kind of like a, a junk journal, really. I've been wanting to try out what the big hus is on junk journals. And I kind of like it. It's kind of like a brain dump. You just get a page and start putting down whatever you want to put down. And it's kind of um, refreshing, like almost. Um, you can just put here whatever you want, and then it's like, oh, well, I got off that off my chest. So it, I, I like the idea of this system. So so far I have three, but I need to. And this is what I wanted the cover to be. I just don't have my laminator or anything to make it look a little bit more professional or anything so this is just what I'm using for now but I do eventually I have been looking at the traveler's notebooks and I want to buy a rose gold one so bad I love it so I'm gonna invest but just not right now it's not the time but other than that I also wanted to show you guys how my planner for this year is coming out so I made this planner charm 
I was inspired to make a plan charm by the Clumsy Crafter. She has sent me a couple of planner charms and I just love them so much. And I was inspired to try to see if I can make my own because I went on Etsy and a lot of the planner charms are super expensive, like 30, 40 bucks. And I just, how much I spent on this, it's just, I don't know, I don't think it should be. I mean, $10. That's good. 15 okay, but I don't think a planet term should be that expensive. Unless there's diamonds on it, but I don't think they're real, so. <laughs> so this is my um, cover that I'm using. And I did make some folders from the paper, so I do have that. And then this was inside. I love this little pattern. So you can see and then I added some sticky notes use this tab for my purchases this is for school this was another one of those cards and some embellishments and this was another paper so these are the tabs that I made these are the papers from the November kit and as you can see I wasn't able to punch these with my happy plunish so I just used the crocodile punch and just did the slits and it works just fine like I, there's no problem with it so I made some pockets there and then here for notes and then I also made this one a double pocket so then I just added a few blank pages so here is my January layout and I did use some scraps from uh, the planner society kit that I had so this was the first week of course I didn't get to film my plan with me but uh, hopefully this Sunday I will be able to do a plan with me so you guys can see that this is the second week which is a planner society theme so you can see isn't that washy beautiful i love it and this is this week which is a totally different theme this washi if you guys saw my planner society unboxing of the november kit this is from that one which i love this washi i wish the planner society would make it so if you want to buy more washi of the same one you can but they don't maybe in the future we'll see so i really love this weekly layout so far my week isn't that busy compared to other weeks that i have i did start school on the 9th so it's gonna get busy but i like to just decorate it and then i fill in as the day goes by but like i said i didn't really do anything on these two days today is thursday the 12th so it's been kind of a dead week for me. And then this is what next week looks like. It's blank, so I have, you know, anything I want to do, I can decorate it. I love that they don't have the weekend colors. I love how it's just one little black line, easy to cover up. I really, really love this pattern. It's so, so cute. So there's that one. Now, I also want to show you my mini happy planner because I love my mini and I have decorated a lot in her. So, I have my little charm. So, I used the November kit planner society kit in the mini, which I love this paper. It's so cute. So cute, so cute. My little tabs. So here's my January month. Love it. This week I didn't decorate much at all. This week I didn't even know. This is this week. I didn't decorate too, too much, but I just tried a little bit. Next week I decorated already. And then I also decorated my monthly February layout. Isn't that cute? I love how it turned out. Oops, sorry, I hit you guys. Now, the washi, the stickers, everything is either from the Dollar Tree or 
they have these sticker sticker books this is the brand and these are a dollar at Joann's so every holiday Joann's comes out with sticker books like this I'm not sure if Michael's does I feel like I have seen them but then I don't see them I think I see them at Joann's more so you get a ton of stickers and cute ones too for a dollar which I love and then they have more than one section they have like five or six different books that you can choose from so I wanted to decorate this one and then I also decorated I think I decorated the week of yeah so I decorated the week of Valentine's Day which I didn't put too much but I'm gonna add washi tape later but yeah that's it oh and then I also have one more tab and it's for notes or to do's so yeah that's my happy planner all right well I am almost at 100 subscribers you guys and I need you guys to get me to 100 because I'm gonna be giving away a mini happy planner and I'm also going to be giving away a scoreboard the Martha Stewart um, scoreboard so not the we are memory keepers one not this one but it's a Martha Stewart one it's the same color but it just doesn't have the um, the cutter at the end which honestly I don't really use it that much because I don't think it works that great so yeah, so the giveaway is going to be a mini happy planner. It's not going to be with this cover. It's just going to be with the cover that the mini happy planner comes with. And I'm also going to give away a scoreboard. And then there's going to be like a ton of sticker goodies and um, some washi. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'll th probably throw in maybe some... Um, some little books that I have made, or I might end up making, like I said, a bunch of books like this and throw in some of those. But for sure, the biggest things are going to be the mini happy planner with a scoreboard. So, um, I need to get to 100 subscribers. I believe I'm at 89 last time I checked. I don't I haven't checked today, so I'm not sure. So I just need a few more people, guys. So tell your friends if they need a mini happy planner, if they you know want to win it. If you guys don't have a happy planner and you want to try it with the mini, I think the mini is perfect. It fits in your purse and it doesn't get that bulky. I mean, of course you can take the pages out but I just I love my mini more than I love any of the other ones I think but however I'm falling more in love with the traveler's notebook idea I don't know I'm going crazy but yeah so that's what the giveaway is gonna be so just um if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that subscribe button hit the like video the like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it will be um, a plan with me. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Bye.